Hey guys, Mig here from Grasshopper Adventure Series, stepping up a little bit on the uh, pre-Grasshopper race ride uh, check-in. And so I wanna go over some things with you. Please watch this video in full and also read the email that's coming along with it. So here's the list of the things that we're gonna be covering. So registration, start location, options, cutoff time, staging, uh, the marshals being prepared, uh, where you'll find your rest stops, what's there, recommendations for equipment, uh, rules of road, uh, how you should be expected to be riding out there, what to do in case of emergency, uh, where the finish line is, where we're going, to, how we're going to get back to the start, and have lunch, as well as if you have questions and if you can't make it. So the first thing is we're starting at the Mill District. They're hosting us. It's a fantastic spot in Healdsburg, and as you see, this is there'll be parking, there'll be attendance. You can park in any of these areas here. Um, we are starting at 9 o'clock a.m. is going to be our rollout. Remember, normally it's 10. So we'll have registration there. Uh, Sportful is providing um, coffee. So please uh, purchase a mug there that you can, proceeds will go to BRAD Foundation or bring yours own. What's key is you need to stage here. It's just a little bit before 9 and we all leave at once. For this event, uh, we have the uh, Healdsburg Police helping us out as well as we have an escort with the CHP. So we'll roll promptly at 9 right here and then there's a roundabout, okay? So there'll be, traffic will be stopped here so as to leave in mass. It's quickly, it's important that you leave um, promptly then. If you're off the back, it's, it's possible you'll be held up so that the cars can go and then you could jump on course, no problem if you're not worried about your time. We'll roll out of town that direction, in which case we'll be on course. The map we have for you guys here is key to understanding the route. Uh, you should have your device, your, your, the route downloaded to your device, but this is, gives you a visual of where we're gonna be. We're starting here in Healdsburg. Uh, it rolls out maybe about six miles to so the first turn on Sweetwater and starts climbing, climbing really quickly. So this is where the route group is all together. Um, so I wanna point out to you guys where the feed zones are, the rest stops, and you know, what you guys can expect there. We'll have one here in Guerneville for everybody. And there's a second for people doing the long course up at Fort Ross and Seaview. What you can expect to find there are uh, Cliff Products, Osmo Hydration, Guayaki, uh, as well as some other snacks. And it'll be staffed by uh, Osmo, by NorCal, and by uh, several crews from the El Molino mountain bike team. So I really appreciate you guys um, being out there. So this uh, was one of the original routes. This was the original route for the Grasshopper Adventure Series 22 years ago from Occidental where we did Sweetwater. We rolled out and came up Willow Creek, but as you know, we can't do this this year. So we're coming up Coleman Valley. So, okay, all these roads are certified Sonoma County ribbon roads, which means they're narrow. It's like single track on pavement, which much what makes it part of the Grasshopper Adventure Series and not just a criterium someplace, right? So uh, respect the downhills. Proceed with caution. Don't make foolish passes. Um, look out for cars. Um, so uh, when you look at this route here, this is going to be the cutoff point. This is where the long course goes north and the short course goes out to the course, out to the coast. 1115 is the latest you can proceed on to here. Uh, anyone who's doing the long course who wants to call today and go a little shorter can head back that way. Um, so the descents to watch out for, of course, there's a couple on Fort Ross and then Myers grade. Um, all the way along the coast, one thing to keep in mind along the coast, there's two sections where there's road work being done and there's uh, stoplights. So you need to obey the red stoplight, pretend it's like the, a train at a race in a spring classic in Europe or something, all right? So if you get there, just chill, just wait and pass. So it should keep track of you to climb out of Russian Gulch. If you're proceeding, uh, going up the hill, and another group comes in, it should stay green for you guys to roll through. Um, on the coast, be especially careful. If there's, a, if there's a side wind, people tend to echelon out. Remember, these are open roads and it's a California state highway. The CHP will be out there and can cite you guys for that. But above, and um, the, the most important thing is that you're safe looking out for each other. Then we'll have a turn here on Coleman Valley with CHP help. Nonetheless, proceed with caution. That's a left oncoming traffic. And then the finish is up at uh, Ocean Song. It's a big steep climb. There's a roller and you'll be able to check with the map profile um, where it is. We'll have a couple grasshopper flags to mark that. Um, we'll have some snacks, some cool drinks for you. And then you can roll back with your friends with your route of choice or follow this map back to lunch in the Mill District with Matt Acarino, Sierra Nevada, Arno Roberts Wine, and who knows what else. It's going to be a good time. 
So this is just a quick profile of these for you guys to be aware of, you know, the, how much elevation you are, you're, you're gaining. So notice the difference of a couple thousand feet over this. Uh, the biggest thing to point out to you is the steepness of the descent. All of these descents without exception would be black diamond to double black diamond. It's all pave, but they're incredibly decreasing radius turns, very sharp. There's oncoming vehicles. So you have to descend with caution. Assume that, like I say, if you can't see around the corner, assume there's a big truck pulling a horse trailer because eventually on a day there will be somebody there. Um, this is the shorter course, which has the Sweetwater climb and descent um and does not have fort ross so uh staging so it's important as i mentioned before that when you're staging is that we're there at the start area uh, of the mill district to exit and that we're able to exit quickly so some rules of the road so don't be a bleep be a unicorn so what we mean by that i feel like we need to spell that out with the rules of the road so right not crossing the yellow line do not ride or pass like a moron. Think about what this means, right? So don't take risks and don't pass people in situations that aren't going to be safe. Um, obey the traffic laws. The course is open. Uh, there's still no e-bikes or aero bars, so um, neither one of those are allowed. Uh, please let us know if someone if doesn't finish and uh, or ask the marshals to inform somebody. Of course, no littering, no, no leaving garbage out there. Um, in terms of respecting the area, we've had some concerns about this. So if you need to relieve yourself, do it in a place that it's not going to stand out and be conspicuous. Again, we have public re there's a public restroom in Casadero, and then there's one in Jenner. So uh, people ask what kind of bike. So a gravel bike, you can do this. A uh, road bike really is the, is the best choice. I'll probably be out there on you know 32C tires. You can do it probably in a traditional 25 or um, a, a 28. So some of these folks out here are, are dressed in sportful who are who our are sponsor as well as Marshall. So you're going to be looking for people in grasshopper kits out there. Uh, so what happens if there is problems out on the road is the first thing is you just want to stop and check in with folks. So remember that the whole idea of this is being self-reliant out there. We have some support with a SAG with a couple feed zones. There's an AMR medic out there. We've got the CHP, but you guys know the grasshoppers. It's about adventure. So we're doing the things we have to, to give you guys, bring this event to you guys, but you really have to look out for each other. Um, let any of the marshals know they can report back. Um, if there is something to contact someone, you would um, dial, dial 911 out there. These are remote areas. So it's important that, you know, we stop and look and look, look after each other. At the end of the day, you'll roll uh, as on the proposed route or, or another route that you wish to do back to the Mill District for lunch by Matt Acarino and we'll have beer by Sierra Nevada and wine by Arno Roberts. So it's gonna be a good time. Uh, it's a pretty long roll back, but again, it's a grasshopper enduro. Uh, Healdsburg to the top of Coleman Valley and then a 20 mile spin back with your friends to tell stories and catch up followed by food and drinks. So adventure explore shred be safe out there have fun enjoy the second stage of the grasshopper adventure series which is all pave we had gravel we have pave and the next one lake sonoma is going to be mtb so i can't wait look forward to the saturday